This is National 5 exam practice homework. We're looking at Standard Grade uh, 2009, Paper 2, and we're looking at Question 1. It's a calculator question, so we'll go ahead. One atom of gold weighs 3.27 times 10 to the minus 22 grams. How many atoms will there be in one kilogram of gold? So we're then going to be given our answer in scientific notation, correct to two significant figures. Okay, so let's this let's set this one up as a proportion type question. And what we'll go for is I'll go for the weight at this side here, and what we'll go for is the number of atoms at this side, so I can finalise my answer at this side here. So the weight that I've been given, that's times 10 to the minus 22, and that's in grams, and that equals, and we've got uh, one atom. Okay. So if I find out what one gram is, and one gram is going to be equal to one, divided by the weight of that one atom. So let's go for that in the calculator. Right, so I've got 1 divided by 3.27 and I've got the times 10 to the power button at the bottom and I'm going to use this negative sign there, 22. I'm going to press equals there and I get 3.058 and let's go for that. 3.058, some more, but that's going to be times 10 to the power of 21. What I want to find out is thousand grams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number here, I'm going to leave that in my calculator at the moment, and what I'll do is I'll times that one there by a thousand to get my final answer. Right, so let's just uh, keep that in the calculator, and what I'll do is I'll just times it by a thousand. And that gives me 3.05, 3.0581, and that's going to be times 10 to the power of 24. Right from there, I've got my final answer, but uh, I've also got to write it in scientific notation, which it is, and I've got to put it to two significant figures. So let's look at two significant figures. So it'll be this here and this here. So what I'll do is I'll cut my number here. I'll look to the right, and what I'll do is I'll move that, uh, the, the five will just change the, the zero up to one. So it'll be 3.1 times 10 to the 24, and that's two two significant figures. And that would be the, the end of the question there. So let's see about the uh, the marks for this one here. So the first mark I'm going to get for, let's see, I'm going to go for getting, right, so I need to get one mark for this one here, the final answer. I'll go for one mark for getting the unrounded answer. And I'm going to get one mark for for, let's see, I'm going to just go for one mark for this one here. But uh, it's a three mark, three mark question. The way we're going to mark it is, as long as you get this one and this one here, these marks, that's two marks, and for, for uh, either dividing a thousand by 3.27 times 10 to the minus 22, or the way that I've done it here, uh, that would give you your three marks.